I was there. I cussed her out. I was a bully. I was mean. I had been her bodyguard for years. I had defended her. I was resentful because I felt that she used me for years. And here I was at this time when I could have helped her like I've always done. And I made a choice to turn my back. That is more disheartening than had I stuck a log on her. It's yeah. harder for my heart to sit here and tell you and all these people that yeah. I turn my back on my one-time best friend. Yeah. I would rather sit here and tell you, <clears throat> yeah, I helped with this log and I put it on. That would be easy for me. Yeah. But then after easy. that, so whatever happened there, mm -hmm. you and your two-year-old daughter, did you move into her house? No, I did not. Did you go help her family look for the body? Absolutely. I was her friend. I, we didn't look for a body, no. What did you do? So I incorporated myself back into their family because if I was not there, it would have been abnormal. And so I was so high on drugs, so full of alcohol, I would do anything to make sure I failed Missy. I didn't want to fail her family. That was a sick obligation my 17-year-old mind had. So here's what the prosecutors say, and you, you say they're just prosecuted, but I'm just going to tell you what they said. They said you and your two-year-old daughter moved into Missy's mom's home. You volunteered for years to hunt for the killer and help this family. No, that's incorrect. How was it that you were so morally corrupt that at this time, if we just take your version of the story, that you just followed along and... No, I was there. Did, I drove up there. You did cut her hair and you did push the log over and then left and have no idea what happened with the log after that. Um, but that you were a party to this and you spent 23 years in the penitentiary for it? Sorry. 23 and a half. 23 and a half years in the penitentiary for it. So they apparently thought you did something of importance. Absolutely. Um, as you look back on this, how were you so morally corrupt that this was okay? with you at the time, that this, wow. that this, that this was something that, that you didn't say, you know what, I, no, no way, I, what, what the hell are you doing tying her hands behind her back? I'm out of here. I want no part of this. You're right. What, 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 what was wrong with you that you were that broken that you didn't do that? There's a list. You want a list? <laughs> no. I just want an answer. You know, the truth, how could I get to that point? I was full of anger, hatred, bitterness, resentment. I had an identity crisis growing up. There are a lot of contributing factors in my life that contributed to this. Was it Missy? No. There was more to my life. And here's the thing. When it came time for this to happen, and we were up there. Now, here's the thing. We were mean girls. We were boys. And boys are pack animals. When one started, we fueled the fire to the next. Individually, we wouldn't do this on our own. I don't believe either one of us. But you were the bodyguard. You were the one that fought I the was. fights. I fought, I fought a lot of fights. I did, and I was tired of it. I was tired of so it. So how are you drawn along by these other girls? You were the, you were the alpha dog in this. Why, Actually, how are you drawn along by the Actually, I wasn't the alpha the dog. We, I was you drawn along. You fought the fights? We were all friends. I fought the fights for Missy. Yeah. You know, not, not on Laura and Eva. And we were all friends, and we all went together collectively to confront her. We, the plan wasn't to go to the mountains. That was an afterthought when Laura was driving by, when uh, Eva and I were waiting at the park.